Hey guys, welcome back to fmhtutorials.com. This is part four, the final part of the kind of feature we've been doing this month on pads and you know using the morph matrix in FM8 to sort of create variations in a sound or just to flip a sound on its head and create you know multiple patches within one patch effectively. So in part three we made this pad sound. <laughs> And so we've got it all set up there. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can create variations within the patch in this morph matrix. So for starters, with the sound set up, as we set it up in the previous tutorial, what we're going to do is normalize timbres, hit that button. And now in all four corners, if you look at the ops, all four corners, everything is the same, basically. So we kind of normalize this patch to all four corners of that morph matrix. So this is just I'm going to keep this as it is, you just call it a morph pad and then move this box to the bottom right hand corner and then we're going to set up some variations in here. And mostly the variations we're going to be looking at is in either the operator section with the ratios and the waveforms and stuff or in the FM matrix. So for starters in this bottom right hand corner and we look at operator F and I'm going to take the ratio of this to point 0.4987 so it's going to go in an up an octave I think but also it's detuned slightly rather than 0.5 it's detuned to a little bit to just give quite a nice sort of warmth on the sound um, operator E we're not actually going to be using to this morph so just leave it as it is operator D we are going to be using but this can just stay the same Operator C, we're going to change to 0.6 on the ratio. The offset can come back down to zero and it can stay as a soft tri state waveform. So it's a bit kind of discordant at the moment. Um, operator B can come to 0.2994. And can stay in as a, a sawtooth wave, and operator A can actually change this to a saw. So that's going to be kind of introduced into the sound now. So E, we can take that routing off, we can take that routing off. Um, actually, going to be bypassing the filter for this sound as well. So turn the filter off and take that off so it's not routed to the output anymore. And root F, rather than routing it to the filter, just route it straight to the output at 76. And keep it rooted back into itself like that at 35 that can stay as it is take this B rooting into F take that off and C rooting to the output take that off D doesn't need to root into E anymore because we're not using E for this morph um, turn A on actually and introduce A into the kind of output so root that at around a similar volume around 78 <laughs> If you remember in part three, we set up this envelope for A, this kind of reversed sort of looping envelope, which you're hearing now, we've brought it into the sound. Um, also going to do a little bit of a feedback loop here, and route A into D at 10, and then D back into A at 14, which is just giving us quite a nice sort of kind of crunchiness on the sound. Uh, and B is rooting into C, take that down. It's about 10, it's a bit more subtle, and then root, into a, then root C into A at about 7. So you can hear that then, it's just giving us a bit more, I guess kind of distortion on the sound, but it's quite a sort of pleasant, nice distortion. So that's our morph set up there basically. So we can go from... Also, because this is quite a busy sort of, I suppose it's got the, the envelope on A is kind of looping. I thought we could go over to this effects section and this effects amount, just take that down to around 16. 
So it's just a bit of a kind of cleaner sound. So yeah, there's our first morph. We could rename this as well um, to just, you know, looping up or something like that. And um, yeah, let's move over to the top right hand corner now and set up the next morph. And for this morph, we're just going to be looking at the operator section. So um, operator F is not going to be used for this sound, so it can take that off, take that off, you can actually just turn it off altogether. So nothing needs to root into F now. Um, also, we're not going to be using the filter for this sound either, so you can turn that off. We are going to be using operators B, C and D, but not E, so take that off. And yeah, enough, we're not going to be using the filter, so turn turn that off as well. And then just root B can, don't need to root into C anymore, B can root straight to the output around 52. C at 97 or full volume, just a little bit less, and D around 46. So just getting quite a nice sort of pad sound with those. What we're also going to do is introduce operator X into the sound, the noise operator, push the volume up to around 51, and push this noise amp right up. So get some noise in the sound, noise cutoff can go up as well. Push that resonance up too now. And operator X, the noise can feed into D about 28 to so just rough up that operator a little bit. And also root it into B at 35. This is again just giving us quite a nice sort of crunch on the sound. And some of these we can just take this root in a D take it down a little bit, push one and C up a bit, the B can stay the same. And now I can move over to the operator section and um, D we can change to 1 over 4 and the ratio can go to 1.2 which has given us quite a nice chord effect. Um, operator C we can go 1 plus 2 and we can stay at 0.25 actually on the ratio. Just take the offset off. And B, we can take a ratio of, to 0.6 and take the waveform to a 1 plus 3 plus 5 square. So we've got quite a nice sort of harmonic pad going on there now. And so we've got three quite nice pad sounds going on within one patch now so let's go and set up the top left hand corner and then that'll sort of finish our sound off really so for this morph um, I'm going to set up the matrix first I'm not going to be using operator B for this one or A so they can both be turned off um, and we're not going to be using the filter either so that can be turned off, take that out of the output don't need to be rooting anything to the filter either and then operator F, just root at 100 take that feedback down to 14 so it's not kind of distorting on itself so much E, rather than rooting into F and take that D into E off as well, E can just root into D, 31, then D can come straight to the output at full volume. And then that's just a little bit too kind of harsh really, so this 35 here is feeding back into itself, turn that down. And C, again, can just root to the output at 100. And then let's go back to the operator section and yeah, operator F, yeah, port 0.4987, a 
operator E can that can double on the ratio as well, so 0 0.25. D can stay as 0.4910. Actually, turn it into a square wave. Just kind of helps the tone a little bit. And operator C, go 1.8 on the waveform and go 0.75 on the ratio. So there's our fourth sound. So within one patch, I mean, all we've got looping here is a C3 note. So within one patch we've got which just shows how powerful that FM well how powerful the morph matrix is in FMA. Or we can name these as well, you know, sort of deep timbre and harmonic pad. So yeah, it just shows how powerful that feature in FMA is. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hopefully you, I hope it's given you some ideas on how to kind of design your own sounds and use that morph matrix a little bit more. And um, any questions, then please get in touch. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.